do you feel like tomorrow or? You know, I always put things way in the back because I don't, it's a lot better than getting laughs, that's for sure. <laughs> But uh, I, I, tr I know what we want to do in Rio, and I don't want to dwell on... I don't want to look at yesterday's newspaper clippings, because then, you know, you, that's all you're going to get. So, I, I think I told Ken this before. One of my big goals in life, when I'm done, I want 10 years. I want 10 good years. I can drink wine in my home in California, in my garden, and then I can think about all this stuff. And not have any worries, because I don't have to do it anymore. But it, it's good. It's very good. I'm as more pleased for them than for me. It's my job, but to see them as young kids. Come on, I'm an old guy. They're young kids. It's great. It's great. What did you think of Ashton's performance overall at this meet? It's, it's solid. It showed it showed where he's a little bit rusty. He, that's all he is, is rusty. Uh, he's had an awful lot of media assignments this year, a tremendous amount, and he was away from practices a couple times a week for for a number of weeks, the last six, seven weeks, so I knew we'd be rusty coming in, and the goal was, hey, let's go win the thing, and then evaluate, so we're going to Santa Barbara for our training camp at the end of March, and we'll take the month of April to shore everything up, no problems, there's no problems whatsoever, there were some great things that happened here for both Bria and Ash, and so we'll shore everything up in April, get really in great uh, conditioning shape, work on some of the skills, and then in May and June, time it up in, in competition. Well, it looked Brian like Tyson, I, I looked at this late last night, starts to meet with the PR, season best, season best, season best, ends to meet with the PR. The hell, you can't get a better meet than that, right? What, what more can you ask for? It looked like maybe uh, Acton was still thinking world record in the pole vault there. We were, because uh, uh, that's why he jumped from 16-8. We knew that once he made 16 feet, the meet was fundamentally over. Yeah. Nobody was going to catch him. So uh, he made 16-8, and then I, I said, he said, what do I have to do for the world record? I said, now you got to probably run one minute or something. I, he said, well, if we go to 18 feet, what do we have to run? I said, 232 or something. So he went to 18 feet. But he's a little pooped. His groin was a little bit sore, nothing major, but just, so he took the two and said, that's it. That's enough. Yeah. Kind of speaks to how talented he is when he comes in and he's rusty. Like you said, he kind of had a, a solid meet and he still wins handily. Yeah, yeah, he is a talented kid, obviously. They're talented kids, they're smart kids, they're very, um, aware kids of their environment going around them and there's always chaos in a multi-event meet. The biggest pleasure on, on my part on, for his meet is the long jump. We've been working on the long jump quite a bit. We switched him from nine lefts to ten lefts. And that's a little bit of a problem because you're moving with more speed and the timing isn't there and the rhythm is different. But boy, he fixed it. He fixed it, and it wasn't really fixing last week. In practice, still, ugh. he fixed it. He can jump real far now, long jump, and that's good. You know his hunter's going to be good. You know his long jump's going to be now really, really good. And when you start off a multi-event like that, in the first couple of events, you put a lot of people in the uh, hot seat, and they start pressing. What happens when you play golf and you press? Wham, into the woods, all over the place. So, it was a solid meet, and we'll evaluate everything and, and start to pick, up, pick away at it. I think one thing you guys saw, you know, I always, as Ken knows, try to talk about the multis. He jumped 17 9, 540 in Boston, and the pole looked entirely different than he did today. When you pole vault in a multi event meet after having done all that other stuff, you're pooped. Your legs just aren't as spunky, so maybe your takeoff's a little bit rougher or something like that. And, uh, uh, but you do the meet, and, that's, and you learn from that. So you learn from that. So uh, I guess in every event compared to last time, he he's better last time. Is that last time, last the worlds. last world. But he still had a chance, you know, if he makes the, what, the 18 foot, he could, you know, you're still thinking world record today, even though he's a little bit off compared to two years ago. Yeah, exactly. I said, hey, you know, he knew he had the meet, so that's why he said, let's go to 18 feet. And, and actually in Boston, he just missed 18-2, 555. So, uh, uh, but he wasn't as, as good today. It's, it's okay. It's okay. The, the 16 8 vault was one of the prettiest vaults he's ever had. He came right off the top of the pole. He's technically really sound. So, the, it's a good meet. And he came through healthy, and that's that's all, always important. Alan, how are you? Yeah. Is there any congratulations? Yeah, thank you very thank much. Thank you.